Hello, St. Louis, and welcome to This Week on STL. I'm Rick Anthony with the weekly rundown of events happening in and around St. Louis for the week of June 24th. And it's brought to you by the offices of McBrearty, Hart, and Kelly, proudly helping clients in the St. Louis area with automobile accidents, insurance defense, uh, workers' comp defense, and a whole lot more. You need more information, visit their website at McBreartyLaw.com. We start the week with a couple of events that are actually ending in just a couple of days. The final week to check out Circus Floor right there in the Grand Center. That ends, of course, on uh, Sunday. And also, The Wiz is wrapping up at the Black Rep. So your last chance to check it out is this week. Kicking off this week and going through Sunday at the Muni, this week is Shrek the Musical. Performances nightly at 8.15. Kicking off on Tuesday and going through Saturday, it's the Merrimack Community Fair in Sullivan, Missouri. A lot of things going on from demolition derbies and tractor poles and all the things associated with the county fair happening in Sullivan, including Dustin Lynch performing on Friday night and the winner of the uh, latest season of Dancing with the Stars, Kelly Pickler, will be on the big stage on Saturday night. On Tuesday, something going on in O'Fallon, Missouri. It's the O'Fallon Jam and Concert Series. As a matter of fact, they're doing it every Tuesday from now until August the 13th. This week is the O'Fallon Community Concert and Jazz Bands performing 6 o'clock at the Civic Band Shell in O'Fallon, Missouri. On Tuesday night at the St. Charles Family Arena, Alice Cooper and Marilyn Manson. Wow, what a team there. Shock Therapy Tour 2013 at the St. Charles Family Arena, showtime 7.30. On Wednesday night, I want to tell you about a friend of mine that I know. He uh, happens to be St. Louis's very own Mike Zito. He's back in town. He's got a brand new CD out called Gone to Texas. Mike's going to be playing at the Old Rock House on uh, Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Check him out. He's a great guy. Also on Wednesday night at the River City Casino, the First Lady of Rock and Roll and her husband, Pat Benatar and Neil Giraldo performing 8 o'clock at the River City Casino. Thursday night, a wonderful night under the stars at Verizon Wireless Amphitheater. Great country music. Kenny Chesney, Eli Young Band, and Casey Musgraves. Great night, 7 o'clock, Verizon Wireless Amphitheater. Friday and Saturday at the America Center, it's the National Archery in the Schools program called NASP, N-A-S-P. They're having the World Championships here in St. Louis at the America Center going on all day, Friday and Saturday. Friday night at 7 o'clock in Bell Vegas at the Bell Claire Speedway in Belleville. It's the Topless Twins 30, sponsored by Hooters and Fairview Heights. I know I was going to get some people in trouble here. But it is a a super late model and modified race. They go topless in the summer heat. It's what it says here. I'm not reading anything into it. And it's a true fan favorite with a name like that. Yeah, I can imagine that. It says adults $12, kids $12 and under free. And if the wife uh, comes along, she'll understand what's going on. But if you have to explain it to your wife, good luck. Once again, that's happening at Belclair Speedway, 7 o'clock Friday night. Friday night at 8 o'clock at Powell Hall. It is the 45th anniversary celebration of Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. The album, well, performed by the St. Louis Symphony. That sounds like an incredible concert. Over in the Del Mar Loop area at the pageant, a sold-out show on Friday night. Fall Out Boy in town for an 8 o'clock performance. If you don't have tickets, sorry, it's sold out. Saturday also in the Farrar Theater in the America Center is the St. Louis Natural Bodybuilding Figure Bikini and Extreme Fit Championship Classic. (gasps) Just getting a workout just saying that. 10 o'clock at the Farrar Theater in the America Center. Saturday and Sunday at the Soldiers Memorial in St. Louis is the 2013 St. Louis Pride Parade and Pride Fest. It kicks off on Saturday with Parade at 11 o'clock. It'll start off on Market Street. Then, Saturday and Sunday, located at the Soldiers Memorial, the concert series kicks off 12.30 until 6 o'clock each day. A lot of great events. Check it out. It'd be a lot of fun. Downtown St. Louis, the Pride Parade. Then out in St. Charles, if you like your music and you don't like to spend a whole lot of money, the Whiskey War Festival, the uh, grassroots showcase of local music and art at the VFW Hall in St. Charles. It kicks off at noon on Saturday to tell us about it. We happen to have a guest, David Manis of the Manis Brothers, to tell us a bit more. Mr. David, tell us all about it, buddy. Hi, how's it going? This is David Manis. 
just letting you know the Whiskey War Festival's coming up June 29th. It's all day. There's 20 bands for 10 bucks. We have vendors. We have sponsors like Jim Beam, Delivery Company, and uh, Two Girls Four Wheels Food Truck. It's an all-day affair, so it's family-friendly as well. Kids under 10 can get in for free. Hey, David, how do the uh, bands get chosen for the event? Uh, we chose everyone specifically just because, I mean, we're in the music scene downtown in St. Louis. Me and my brother are in a band, the Manus Brothers. Oh. And then we, uh, you know, over the past couple of years, we just have found all these other bands that we love. So we just pick the, the ones we like the most to put on it. Thanks, David. We invite everyone to go out once again noon on Saturday at the VFW Hall in St. Charles, the Whiskey War Festival. Now, Saturday night, Midtown at the Chaffetz Arena, American Idol Live. Wow, a lot of great uh, performers we've had over the last, how many seasons has it been of American Idol? Anyways, uh, they'll be performing live at the Chaffetz Arena. And then ladies, if you happen to have a bridal shower or you just need a night out away from the hubby, Thunder Down Under. It's the Chippendales, the Australian version, at Hotel Lumiere in their uh, theater there. 8 o'clock on Saturday night. On Sunday, something I want you to really take special note of. This is something that's near and dear to the hearts of everyone here at On STL. It is called the Pink Heels Tour, and it starts at 1 o'clock over in O'Fallon, Missouri. It is uh, benefiting women's health. They have a parade of pink fire engines. Miss Missouri is going to be there. Ellie Holtman will be there. I will be there emceeing it along with uh, Sherry Farmer from Clue. You know that featurette, that one person at a time? Sherry's going to be there. It's a wonderful thing. I want you to go to this. It's called the Pink Heels Tour. It's located in O'Fallon. And to wrap up the week, you need your boy band trifecta. Well, we have it here at the Scott Trade Center. The new kids on the block, 98 degrees, and boys to men. Wow, I don't think you can get much better than that. 7.30, Sunday night, Scott Trade Center. A lot of information I've given you there. If you need anything, just hit rewind, play it as many times as you need. Go ahead and download it to your iPod. Go ahead and keep it on your cell phone. Make sure you've got a copy of it 24 hours a day. That way you know what to do this coming week in St. Louis. Until next time, for This Week on STL, I'm Rick Anthony.